Rolex was founded in the early 1900s by a guy named Hans Wilsdorf. And Wilsdorf was um, putting together watches. He had a partner named Davis who kind of disappears after a while. But um, the name itself, um, kind of, he was looking for a name and he was, he was looking for a name that nobody else had ever used that was u unique. Mm -hmm. And he says that he was riding on a street in London called Cheapside. Do you guys ever see the movie um, A Knight's Tale? Oh, yeah. yeah. Great yeah, movie. yeah mm -hmm. Right? Great so movie. in one part of the movie, he's, he's, on, he's in Cheapside. Uh, and he makes a point of being in Cheapside where the, they, they make the implication that, che that it's cheap to live there or that poorer people Is that where he went to visit his father? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where he goes to visit his father in Cheapside. So in any event, it's actually a financial street in London. I don't know that it was poor. It may have been poor back in the Middle Ages. I don't think it was poor when Hans Wilsdorf was riding along. And he says that the name just came to him. In fact, he says a genie whispered the word Rolex in his ear. And I think that's kind of fascinating. Rolex. Yeah. And so that, I think roughly 1908, the name was born. And it's Wilsdorf's company, and he it's his corporation, but ultimately he gives the corporation uh, to a charity. So it's owned now by a charity he created called the Hans Wilsdorf Foundation. You guys, you guys know that, right? Yes. Obviously. Yeah. And you were telling me a little bit, what do you know about the Wilsdorf Foundation? They give all the, way, the profits away, right? Or most of the profits away? Well, from yeah, from, that's what I understand. It's either reinvested back into the company, given away, or shared among the employees. So I, my understanding is ninety percent of the money gets given away. Wow. Yeah. Well, and that would make sense because as we were speaking earlier, you know, Rolex worldwide they support uh, several different uh, initiatives and charities, uh, from the art to uh, supporting uh, initiatives to help protect the environment and such. So. Um, you know, they really, I believe Rolex uh, really sees the value in giving back. Um, I know one of the organizations they give money to is called One Ocean, the One Ocean Foundation. And One Ocean, um, there are organizations, and One Ocean may help sea life, um, you know, uh, animals as well. But they, I know they specialize in uh, one of the things they call the sea forest. Which is kind of a neat term, right? It is. But yeah. like the, the plants that are growing in the ocean, making sure that those plants, because obviously without those plants, then there wouldn't be any marine life. Absolutely. So, and I know that that's a big um, donation that they make is to One Ocean. And we're sitting here um, on the ocean. <laughs> we love the ocean here. So um, I don't know that they do projects here locally, um, but they do do a lot of uh, uh replenishing of the uh, what they call this again the sea forest which I, was a term i'd never heard did you ever heard that one no but i mean here in the saint john's river just down the street we uh we had all the eelgrass taken out a few years ago when a hurricane came through right and, and that's messed up our fish populations and uh so we need some re-nourishment here as well i wonder if rolex will come or yeah we need, the a, Hans we need a reach out. foundation or the one ocean will come and uh uh uh, and replenish our, our eelgrass. That's a good point. That's a good point. And it's important, man. I mean, the environment's really important. Absolutely.